disability, pride and disability, joy aren't things that we've typically heard. We've been taught throughout time that disability is a bad thing, but folks with disabilities are reclaiming those words and they're attaching their own pride to it. For families like ours, there are such moments of joy in public spaces once you feel very welcome. We enjoy coming to Lincoln Center because of the programming that's offered. And he said we've been here four times already. So an accessible arts experience for our family means that we need a physical space that's accessible so that any who's the wheelchair user, you know, can get in and out and enjoy the facilities. For me, with my invisible disabilities, it means I'm ensuring that we have quiet spaces in between enjoying the activities throughout the campus and finding an accessible restroom is also very important. And accessible places to eat because that's very much a part of our day out. Above all of it, it's most important that the staffs we encounter in a space, it's friendly and that we're welcome in the spaces. The arts serve as a way of bridging cultures that build more understanding of each other. And he says, I like busting a move. We wanted to bust a move because we never did it in public. You know, dancing, your body's supposed to flow and move with the music and so that intimidation was always there but if we did it we had the opportunity to bust the move mm -hmm. over at Lincoln Center or under the big disco ball so what this disability pride and disability joy looks like it's the way Annie laughs that is her mm -hmm. language once you get here and you see all of the enthusiastic people and all of the joy and looking at everybody just wanting to be in the same space for the same experience and even if your body doesn't sync up with the harmony of the music, it's still a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah? You agree? Okay.